All right, so here's the deal. You're driving into Laughlin, Nevada. You're tired, it's the evening time. You're looking for a place to stay. And you just saw that sign, it's like up there, you see the Colorado Bell uh, uh, bar keyboard lit up. And you saw the sign that said uh, rooms available. And you're like, let's pull in here. The rooms available, right? You look over here, you see the uh, big paddle wheel spinning around here, and you're like, okay. It's like looks like an okay place to stay. Uh, pretty big. It's like, so uh, we'll call it a night right here. Then you pull in to the uh, to turn in, and you see barricades up. And you're like, what the heck? And then you kind of look around, and you see no... Uh, no cars. Nobody's parked in here. And the reason for this is, is because this property closed down on March 17, 2020. Uh, that's when the governor of Nevada, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, actually closed down almost all businesses in the state of Nevada, uh, with the exception of businesses that were deemed essentials. And uh, it uh, never reopened. Three months later, it's like the government uh, let the casinos reopen to uh, uh, limited uh, uh, people, limited customers into the uh, properties. But uh, this property right here never reopened. And uh, to this day, it still has never reopened. So it's been closed for about three and a half years now. Now, this property is owned by Golden Entertainment. Golden Entertainment also owns the Edgewater and the Aquarius here in Laughlin. They own the Strat in Las Vegas. Uh, they own Arizona Charlie's, both of those properties in Las Vegas. They own all the PT pubs in Las Vegas. They own slot routes. Uh, they're, they're a big time player uh, when it comes to the gaming industry in Nevada and uh, actually across the nation. It's like, you know, they're uh, pretty big time now. But they have deemed, it's like, that this property here um, doesn't really fit into their plans, I don't think, anymore. And it has stays closed down since, uh, since the March of 2020. Now, I think one of the main reasons is, is because the visitor counts here in Laughlin have been declining as for the last oh, roughly 10 years. And uh, I think they have deemed, it's like, the thing because they own the Edgewater and the Aquarius, that they could probably maximize um, the customers it's like that they have and their customer account is like staying in those two properties only and not having the expense of operating the third property. I'm betting it's like that's probably the main reason. Also, it's like it's very possible this property opened in 1980. So the property is 43 years old. And basically a uh, 43-year-old property, eh, you're going to have some... Uh, wear and tear that needs to be repaired. It's like piping probably needs to be replaced, uh, so forth and so much and so forth. And, and you know, you get the gist of that. So it may not be feasible. It may not be uh, uh, the type of thing. It's like where they want to put money back into it. Now, the, it's a huge property. I mean, this property is a big time, was a big time player one time here in, the, in Laughlin. It has 1,168 rooms. Uh, so you see, it's like basically it's a pretty good sized property. Uh, it has a 42,700 square foot casino, uh, which housed 750 slots and the 16 table games, had three restaurants in it, had the bars, had two pools. So you can tell at one time this property was, uh, was a major player here in, La in the Laughlin area, but uh, not anymore, not since... Uh, uh, you know, the beginning of 2020, like I said, with the pandemic, there were over 400 uh, employees that worked here, um, you know, that lost their jobs, basically never got their jobs back. Now, some of them were able to transfer over to, say, the Edgewater or to the Aquarius, basically. But, you know, for the most part, it's like a thing. When you've worked at a property like this, and some of the employees have probably been here the whole 43 years, or at least it's like... Uh, you know, it's like it closed down for a little bit. It's like in the mid-80s when Circus Enterprise, Circus Circus Enterprises bought it. 
and uh, they did a huge remodel and did a bunch of stuff to it and uh, and everything. So uh, maybe 30 years employees worked here. You become a family. You know, you become, uh, I mean, everybody's like uh, works together for so long. It's like one big family. And then uh, that's kind of gone. That's taken away from them. And, uh, you know, never, never to return. Now, I, from what I understand, it's like the thing, what I've heard from some people in the industry, they've had, you know, a couple of tire kickers come in and take a look at the property and, and um, you know, but I don't think they've ever had a real serious, um, a real serious offer. It's like, you know, a thing because it's like, let's face it, if Golden is going to sell this property and they have two properties of their own, it's like right beside it for the most part. Uh, they're not going to allow, it's like, you know, a property to come in, it's like, you know, for a bargain basement price, and then take some of their customers away. So, um, here it sits, the Colorado Bell. And like I said, uh, Golden has no no real plans to open this property. I mean, I guess unless, uh, you know, all of a sudden, uh, Laughlin is, uh, gets a boom period, you know, where... Uh, the visitor count say doubled or whatever but uh i don't think that's going to happen i don't see it happening anyway so you kind of wonder basically it's like uh you know will they eventually tear it down you know is the land worth more with the building on it or not on it uh those are questions i guess that they uh basically have to uh have to answer now, they bought this property in 2019 and it closed it down in 2020. So that's a pretty uh, a pretty big investment to make. It's like, you know, on the uh, on the front of where uh, they spent money for a property to only be open for a year. But uh, that's a decision that they made. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. I appreciate you joining me tonight. Now, I did want to put out point out one thing. Now this sign up here, it says, rooms available. And then it does say at the Edgewater and, and Aquarius. It's like on the next line. However, you know, you and I both know, it's like uh, uh, people don't have the intention span to uh, really wait for the whole thing to scroll across. So they would just see rooms available and uh, say, hey, let's go here. It's like there's rooms available. All right, everybody, I'm Low Wolf Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. I will see everybody in the next video. It's like, please leave me a thumbs up. That helps our videos out a lot. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah,